Doubts may arise regarding the media's characterization of parental involvement as far-right, reflecting a broader societal trend where fundamental principles are often branded as extremist. It was an issue that, for someone like me who, who doesn't follow New Brunswick politics explicitly, and I, I'd say probably ha has done so a little bit more thanks to you and, and stuff you've been doing there, it was not something that was really accurately defined by the media what you did i, I think before That's i read the actual <laughs> yeah it is uh, well as we heard from the last panel it's okay uh, they should have just been uh, watching reading the line and, and other outlets like that but you were doing something that was a relatively moderate proposal and, and even a lot of people that are in the parental rights space that have been advocating for something similar were saying well it's a compromise he's he's not going far enough it's a good start but you were to the activists that were against you. It was as though you had gone so far, you had done something so radical, you had done something so far right as the term. I mean, did you ever imagine that you would be labeled as far right when you were elected as premier, uh, you know, going back to, to 2013? And, and why is this issue one that has been maligned in that way? Well, just recently I was asked about um, a case of the far right. And isn't it, isn't it amazing that in today's world, far right is, as, is having parents involved with their kids? Yeah. Isn't, isn't that amazing? So I say that tells you how far the spectrum has actually moved and, and how we need to find a path forward. But, but in, in analyzing kind of what we wanted to bring forward is let's address this. And then looking abroad, looking at what's going on in Europe, particularly what's going on in Europe, about how they manage real issues around gender dysphoria, but how they look at it as, you know, getting the right process for treatment and, and through psychology, psychiatrists to understand, okay, how do we manage this? Because it, it, in some cases, it's very real. But in other cases, it's, it's a process of kids growing up. And that's where parents are that one continuum of, on, in their life. And so, so we just say, okay, we want parents to be involved. And no, I didn't imagine it would be such a controversial issue uh, because it seems like such a, uh, a basic, fundamental principle that we all cherish. Examining the influence of social stigma on perceptions and values reveals how labeling parents' engagement in child rearing as far right impacts their personal identity and integration into society. This underscores the significance of familial values and parental rights in nurturing children and lays the groundwork for a resilient social fabric. The apprehension stemming from the polarization of political dialogue, coupled with the overarching tension surrounding identity, belonging, and social connections, tends to portray moderate propositions as radical. Challenging the notion that moderate stances are radical in today's political climate is crucial. Upholding moderate viewpoints is essential to mitigate polarization and foster constructive discourse.